Ahuru, Nare, Neshayati Narazi, Bismillah, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. My name is Mr. Sharia. My contact number or my contact information is research publishing media at gmail.com. This is in association with Dr. Tudor. We are Zoom available. We're talking about math, analysis, math so difficult, math so difficult. It makes, it makes life easy. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. Now what I want to say is, uh, again, I want to thank the university. Like we're very appreciative to use facilities like this. You know, but it's, you know, it's, it's what Mr. Sharia is doing. And then, you know, it's things going on, so we don't want to be interruptive or combative, right, to what's going on. So we you know if it's if it's if it's you know it's not flowing, just be patient until we find where God wants us to be. But let's understand, right? Because you have to understand we we're trying to make some progress with where the money at. Well, the money on the, the money on the stock market. That's where the money at. People I've just seen that was not picking, but I'm saying when you see us. Oh, no, well, not us, but when you see uh, people, poverty, poor, putting it, barely putting it together, happy to have that employment, there ain't no money. Where the money at? Stock market? Where, where your capital base? Well, you can't get on the stock market with a dollar. You, you can. So you ain't going to make no money, but that will be a good learning experience for you. Oh, you just don't understand, brothers and sisters. The money on the stock market. So we talking about, hold on one second. How you doing? You have a class here? You have a class here? Yeah, in a little bit. But What's a little bit? What time is a little bit? What time the class starts? 1.30. Okay, yes, sir. Can you shut the door behind you, please? Yes, sir. So we talk about, uh, I'll bring you. So we talk about expectation. We speak about expectation. So it's an expectation when you talk about companies and when you look at the financial reports or if you look at the financial activity of a company the expectation is, what do the people that control the stock market, as far as adjusting the prices of what that company is worth, what do they think these companies going to do in the future, right? If you have a phenomenal expectation, like the name of my corporation is Research Library. Research Library Corporation. Now, to actually get on the stock market, 
initially, I believe you have to have a revenue of about 500 million. See what I'm saying? That's a lot of people. Where you gonna get the customers for that 500 million? But if that's your revenue, then you can get busy on the stock market. The only thing with the stock market is that you gotta let people know your business about the company and they get to make decisions about which direction you want your company to go in. But as of right now, how I look at it, right? The research library corporation as far as the expectation, phenomenal. Mr. Sharia, he the director, right? He working on a doctorate, or he working towards a doctorate in math analysis. We about to get into ballistics. We about to understand harmonic waves, physics waves. We about to look at the atom and the, and the proton, right? But again, that's a that's a separate type of expectation, right? That's that ain't that, that ain't no financial expectation, right? But we we still do a newspaper. So let's look at it like this, right? We're talking about expectation. What, what's the expect financial expectation of the research library? Well, you know, if Mr. Sharia gets his doctorate, now right now we ain't got no employment where we can feed that or we can feed the stock market with no capital base, no filing, no revenue coming in. That's, 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 that's a negative expectation. So, but... If he get his doctorate, look at the GPA, like Mr. Sharia, you know, he got a 4.0. We had like a, a crazy last semester, but his GPA is 4.0, 3.7, 3.5, however they got it. So that's good. Then they got something like uh, with the newspaper, you can uh, you can get you can you can purchase. 10,000 copies of a newspaper, 10,000 copies. The Caucasian will print you 10,000 newspapers like you send him the format, and however you got it on that PDF, he gonna print 10,000 copies. He told me one time he'll do it for 350. Well, I'm gonna be more, well, he, it, was a, it, was, it, it was a low number. The newspaper game is real good. They, they talking about you want to be on the internet. All oh, that might be good, like with COVID, but I like that hand to hand, getting out, meeting the people, right? So I know it can be done for less than eight hundred and fifty dollars, right? Two dollars, two dollars a paper. That's twenty thousand dollars. They caking with the newspaper business. Wherever you are, look at the success. This, this Google it. How much money, how many subscribers? Newspaper businesses got millions of subscribers. It cost, eight, it cost between $350 and $850 to print 10,000 newspapers. You start looking at the Honorable Marcus Garvey, you start looking at the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, they was doing millions of newspapers a week any Caucasian newspaper in whatever city you live in, they doing millions a week, sometimes millions a day. They making <laughs> something you never went in high school, something you never learn about. You ain't never had nobody, even if you a writer, you ain't never had nobody say, look, you need to come out with your own newspaper. Okay, so say the research library get into printing up a newspaper. Well, they look at, well, listen, he has an expectation with his new contract with the newspaper didn't getting 10,000 copies for $350, and he gonna make $20,000? Before I even get into all of that, I can just press release that I'm about to do that with my expectation of increase. So that's how that, that, that's how that works. Okay, I say that because Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. Then where the money at? Where the money on the stock market? That's where the money at. Or that's where the, that's where the money is. And then when you start looking at the stock market, you start looking at companies. How can you, instead of speculating, remember speculation, right? You're gambling. Speculation. 
gambling make you sick. Like, damn, oh, I just, or like I might lose it. Like you might lose it. Like you're not gonna care. Remember now, stock market is not a casino. It's long-term investing. If you got children, it's real good for them. You catch them with 20 years of just putting a little bit, a little bit for them. And then they'd be 26, 27 with like three or 400,000 in their pocket. And then we still trying to get the, you know I mean, and speaking, we still ain't got the stock options. See, the whole thing with this stock market investing is stock options, where you make $5,000 a week, $10,000 a week. You can just make $1,000, <coughs> you can just make $1,000 a week that's $5,000 a month. That's a damn salary. How we be struggling, beating ourselves in the head with a BS from college. Making $35,000 a year. We didn't tripped off and got student loans in the hundreds of thousands to get a human resource employment. And that's another thing. We was looking at uh, why they was giving us as young black men specifically these felonies to get us incarcerated, and then they got the thing in the Constitution where if you catch a felony, you back a slave again. I mean, on one level, yeah, but on a whole separate level, the scripture says, look, I ain't got to kill you. God say persecution worse than slaughter. Persecution is worse than slaughter. So yeah, on one level, I can lock you up. I mean, on one level, we can just outright kill you, but that's a devil. So no, we're going to lock you up for years. Persecution, worse than slaughter. But they also did the things with the felony because with a felony, you can't teach. You don't want to eat. Like, listen, we have a financial problem right now. It ain't no finances nowhere. Then they tell you you got to go to college, but you got to pay to go to college. So you're going to get tricked off with, with a loan or you're going to be in debt to get some employment that ain't gonna pay none of that back. So they didn't got you again. That's everybody, Caucasian and black people. Any Caucasian people you seeing don't control none of this. You got to go back to Europe and look at why they was fighting the French Revolution. Why was them wars in Europe? When me and you was on a slave plantation in this country, what was the Caucasian doing? Well, they was fighting each other to not be a slave to corporations. That's going on now. They don't have no, they don't have no money. But you get that human resource employment, that's three thousand dollars a month. People laugh at like like when you get into it, like when you get into the stock market environment, people laugh at that. You only making three thousand listen, three thousand, I'm talking about fifteen hundred good a month. People laugh at that. So you're making $3,000 a month doing human resources. That's good. Or you a teacher making $25,000 a year. That's good. What the hell you need a Mercedes for? You don't even, you don't. <clears throat> so my point is, when there is no finance and everybody making minimum wage, but when you go to, well, we need some teachers, which we do, we need people, human resources, they always hire them. You can always get some type of employment with the city. But what the city tell, now look, now you ain't got no money, $10 an hour? What? 40 hours a week at a minimum wage employment? Oh, brothers and sisters. But if you ain't had that felony, you could be a teacher. Or you could just do food stamps and make $35,000 a year but you got a felony. So I just seen, I wanted to put that in there, but listen, <laughs> you got these high ass student loans, unless you can get that employment with, with a high school education. But I'm gonna be honest with you, you ain't even, if you got only a high school education, you're not qualified. You don't even have no people skills where you done interacted with college students, where you know how to interact with people that got problems, as far as financial. But, Say you pay all of that and go to college and do all of that, but you only make it $35,000 a year. Well, they got some called stock options. Where the money at? The stock market. There's some called stock options where you just make, <laughs> you make $1,000 a week. That's $5,000 a month. 
And people laugh at that. Laugh at that. That's a month. But people laugh at that. Then you multiply times 10, that's 50. Plus that number two months. What's that? 50, that's another thousand. 51,000 dollars a year <laughs> for making $1,000 a, a week. But really, this number right here is really like the number is $5,000 a week. $5,000 a week. Even in your wildest dreams, you ain't never thought really, well, you're going to be a movie star. Well, you might have been, I don't know. But, you know, realistically, you probably, like, you know, you're going to get successful employment. You ain't never thought about making $5,000 a week. That's five, ten. dollars that's $20,000 a month. All you need is that capital base because you got to buy 100 shares. That's why Dr. Boyce, even though he on social media and we, we throw his name out there like it ain't nothing. No, 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 no. You got to pay that brother to educate you on what's going on. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of finance. These people ain't got nothing. They pulling you down. They trying to pull you down with them. But you got to have 100 shares to get into the game. And then it got to be realistic when you start talking about, it's, again, it's called stock options. They give, when you're dealing with stock options, one thing I have seen, so they say, is that they try to make the, the, the stock market fair for everyone. So they're going to give you a chance, necessarily, where if you're trying to buy a stock, like you can buy and sell stock options. So if you're trying to hustle a stock option where you're trying to gamble, then it's going to be somebody there. They're going to try to make it fair. They don't want you just to lose your money. So you got to, it's only certain stocks that you can get them 100 shares for. That ain't no penny stocks. Them stocks that you got to get them 100 shares. You got to buy 100 shares of a stock that's going to give somebody a chance, a good chance to make some money. Them stocks cost 50 and $60, brothers and sisters. When you, talk, when you start talking about NVIDIA, NVIDIA right now probably is at what, 116 $116. If you look at the stock stock options price, now stock options, look now, you got to buy 100. It's like a case. You buy one case, and then you buy 10 cases. <laughs> so it would be when you buy them 10 cases, when you sell them cases a week, $5,000 a week, guaranteed. Only thing you got to worry about is that if it drops, then the brother got something. I don't really like, like, that's when you get, I mean, that's what it is, but that's just, that's a lot, right? You know, that, like, I mean, that's what it is, what, how he tell you, because he got something called puts, and then I had my brother, well, I had AI tell me it's like called a collar. So in doing all of that, right, you know, I don't know, right? I mean, if you don't want to lose, you don't want to get sick. But you talking about making five, that's what I'm trying to tell you. We ain't, you ain't got no money. You ain't got no money. You don't even got it in your mind how you going to make some money. Where's some money? You ain't even got it in your mind. People making ten dollars and $15,000 a week doing stock options. But you got to buy 100 shares. And then not only do you got to buy 100 shares, you have to give the person that's purchasing, because we're selling stock options. They got options. They call them calls and puts. We're selling call options. People buying call options, but you got to give them a fair chance where they might where they might make some money. So the only stocks that you really gonna get to give them a fair chance is stocks that call, well they don't. You can catch some that might not cost as much. That's when you have some where you make a you make a thousand dollars a month. I mean a thousand. You can make a thousand dollars a month on some raggedy stocks, but you make a thousand dollars a week. You might catch a stock option where it's like $20. And you're only making $1,000 a week, but that's $4,000 a month. You know how much money that is? But like with NVIDIA, right? If you go to NVIDIA stock options, NVIDIA right now is at 116. NVIDIA, NVIDIA stock options, are terrible. it's called a premium. Let me write the right there. It's called a premium. Premium. 
Now, normally when we put a word, we look at it and try to break it up. We're not trying to do all that, right? Because I think we're running out of time, and we want to get to some other things. But it's called a premium. And a premium is, is what they're going to pay you. You ain't got to flip. You ain't got to do nothing but have it. And the only way you're going to have it is if you got that cash to buy it. That's the only thing, brothers and sisters. Everything else I've been telling you about, you got to have the knowledge. You still got to have the cash, but you also got to have the knowledge. This right here, the only thing you got to have is the cash. And then everything else will direct you. So they got something called a premium. And the premium is what they're going to pay you. The person that's, we, remember now, we're not buying calls. It's called calls and puts. I don't know the, 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 the breaking it all the way down. I'm just telling you. It's called calls and puts. We selling calls. They buying puts. But when you sell a call, you got to sell 100. You only can buy one call in 100 shares, like a case. You buy one case, that's 100. You sell that in one case, and video got it, the, the, uh, the stock option price, they don't be like $4. That means the premium is for $4 on each one of them shares. So that's $400. Let me understand this correctly, right? But 100 shares of NVIDIA at 116, that's a... Uh, how much is that? That's 1100 That ain't even that bad, right? That's 11000 Hold on a second. What if I say it? 116 That's $11,600. Let me get the math correct. Because a lot of times, right, the numbers, like, you see it. But then let me make sure, right? So if you buy 100 shares of NVIDIA, and NVIDIA is at $116, and you buy 100 shares, that means you're paying... $11,600. That means all you got to have is $6,000. And then you use the other $6,000 for margin. And then on every share, if, you, if you're selling calls, they're going to pay you $4 a share. So that's $400. So they're going to put $400 into your account right then. You ain't got to worry about nothing. So that means, so then you're talking about a week, you do that four weeks, that's $1,600. So you're making $1,600 a month from $11,600, right? So that's when you start looking at it, right? That's like at a poor person level because how, how, how you do it, how you do it is that you got 10 of these. You got 10 cases. So this is how it is. So if you got 10 cases of 100, that means you ain't making 400 a week on just that one case. You got 10 cases, so you put another zero. You're making 4,000, right? But how much is, so you're talking about what? 1,000 shares? So 1,000 shares of NVIDIA it's going to cost you $116,000. $116,000. And from $116,000, you will make $4,000 a week. $4,000 a week is what? Uh, that's $16,000 a month. That's the number. See, again, let's understand. You're talking about Fatiha at my financial level, and then you're talking about multimillionaires and their financial level, and then you're talking about billionaires and people that run everything and their financial level. But once you get to a certain financial level, I'm not going to say, you know, they're still going to laugh at you, the billionaires, right? But you just, just so you understand, just so you understand, you're talking about $1,600 a month that's not really a lot of money how we think, like how we think, compared to $16,000 a month. 
$16,000 a month, it's called a premium. That's guaranteed. But where are you going to get the $116,000? You can get $11,000. But look, you only got to have $50,000 because you get the other 50 from margin. If you put $50,000 in a stock account, they're going to give you $50,000. Then you're making $16,000. So that's the hustle. That's called stock options. Now, we're going to go back over that again, right? But we ain't at that level because you got to have that market capital. And they're, they're situating they're situating the game now where they're trying to hire people that ain't got no money. All you got, you only got enough money to pay your bills. So if you did hiss, and then when you hear about the stock market, you so far gone in ignorance that you ain't paid no attention to it. So they trying to have all people now. Look, now they fight. Right now they fighting in Europe, fighting in the Middle East, fighting in Africa, fighting in America. Whole time, they trying to get you where you ain't got no finance. And then you will be a, a, a separate type of slave. If you start looking at the history of America, World War I, World War II, they've been fighting wars. If you ever look at, like, they say how many years has America been existing at, as peace compared to how many years they've been fighting? No, they've been fighting every year they've been as a country. But the whole time, these people been making finance. $16,000 a month? All you need is $100,000? They're going to give you. So look, right? You can flip houses. Ain't nothing wrong with flipping houses, but look, why would you want to deal with, listen, listen. You ain't got no military. You ain't in the military. You ain't going to make no weapons or nothing. Why would you get some reality with something? It's like physical. You don't own no corporations or none of that. How are you going to take care of a whole bunch of houses? Then you got to get the loan to buy, to buy that. At this time right here, you want to be movable. You want to be able to move. So you move with that cash. You need cash. That's what you need. You need millions of dollars. Hold on one second. La, la, ha, la, la. Uh, you need millions of dollars. People ain't got no finance. So you don't need nothing weighing you down. So look, right, instead of getting a loan, now I'm going to tell you what I do like, though. I do like, like the shopping centers. You ever seen them jumps where it might be a laundromat, a cell phone store, and a dollar store, right? And they call it like a little mall. Oh, I love them jumps, right? Or like you might buy an apartment. I like an apartment building because then you're dealing with a certain amount of people. And then shit, you ain't trying to, you're not trying to beat the people in the head. So that's a good way to organize and you just don't pay me no rent this month. Helping people financially. They crushing people financially. They about to, well, it's, it has already begun, but it's going to get worse. You got to read what the, what the, uh, you have to read what the Bible said. But look, $16,000 a month? So instead of getting a loan for a bunch of houses because you got good credit, why don't you get a loan and put it on the stock market? Get a loan for 100 right? Put 50 on the market. They're going to give you a margin of 50. That's 100000 And then you look at the stock options. You mess with Dr. Watkins, the black business school, Take his, his class costs two G's now, no way around. Now, he going he gonna to work with you. And, you know, I hate that my brother, you know, we be in poverty. We be so poor and be so crazy. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you again, look, we ain't even got to keep picking on the $16,000 a month. But where you going to get the, where you gonna get the capital base? Where you get a loan, you get good credit. Why the hell are you going to go to college? You get a loan to go to college. You get a loan and go to college and pay the college and you go in debt, double debt. Okay, 
So that's a, that's a little taste of something called stock options. Something you should look at. It's called the stock market. Where the money at? Okay. So let's go to the let's go to the phone right quick, right? Now we got some things on the phone that we want to talk about. Let's talk about uh we're gonna put ballistics on the board. Ballistics. Ballistics. I never got to talk about MU. MU has an earnings report today. It's a it's a, a microchip company. They're actually very good, they're very affordable. They at a certain point and they're they're stocking. <coughs> They're at a certain point in their stock price development where it's kind of low, right? But we want to look at the expectation. Right now, the expectation for stock companies that make microchips is way low. So again, we want to see where well, this going to go down. The only reason why I'm apprehensive is because it's at a low price. And again, this company is too valuable. If we go to, let's see if we can go to it right quick. That's just initially, if we just look at the basics. And right now in the stock market, my brother say it's a drama queen, right? That's exactly what the market is. Well, I don't want to put that on the black woman like that. <laughs> but the stock market acting, well, it's not acting funny, because we, we, we don't want to say like, you know, we're unappreciative, but it's just acting funny right now, because it's like a Bitcoin acting funny. Right, Bitcoin was the really Bitcoin was really supposed to go up into the hundreds of thousands. That has not happened, and so again, uh, yeah, you can even talk about the wars and how they're killing these people in the Middle East, but that's not necessarily what it is. So everything is kind of acting funny, but look, nothing. They get you to sell, they get you to sell what you got, and they gonna buy it, and just sit there and be patient. But let's look at MU right quick. If we go to MU, and again, MU is at a very inexpensive price, fighting with this Wi-Fi, right? People so crazy. Yeah, they just okay. Well, then they say they don't even got it, right? Okay, Micron Technology Incorporated. It's up a dollar. Right now, it's at ninety-five dollars. We're looking at the expectation. It's a microchip. They make microchips for artificial intelligence. Right now, the artificial intelligence business, they booming. They making millions of billions, but it's an expectation. Are they going to be able to keep up that? And right now, the people saying that, really, they don't even see no money in artificial intelligence. So right now, let's look at the market capital, what they, what they worth. They worth 105 billion. Now, they losing a billion now. They losing a billion. That's why expectation, okay, they bringing in 21 billion. Look at the math on this now. They worth 105 billion. Let's see what they say right quick. What, what, what is this? Micron Technology Incorporated designs develops and manufactures and sells memory and storage products worldwide. Okay, I missed that point. So now that's that's actually real good too. I've been trying to trying to get my mind correct to get into uh the the, the, the memory storage, like the zip drives, who making the little disk that where you can save the data. Those companies are real good. You got like STX you got Box, STX, you got GitLab. Now, I don't know what Dr. Watkins 
would say about this. These are things that I've just been looking at. Right? I actually took the time. I seen it. God showed it to me. God was like, you know, again, it's AI. And they're talking about the energy and how AI use so much energy. But when you start messing with AI, when you're writing programs, you got to keep that data somewhere, like APLD. I didn't even know APLD. Like, we done had that for a long time, right? But APLD is also a, a data center. So these companies is real good. And I didn't know that MU was also a, a, a data, sort of like a data center. But it, these is low now. STS is XTX. POX and GTLB, these are actually, I'm not going to say they're very low. And STX had a good earnings report just passed, but I had to get rid of it when the stock dropped. When everything dropped, I still had like maybe $10. Because like when everything dropped and you ain't got no cash, you're going to take your money from what you got. Where you done made a little bit of money or you done lost. Like if you done lost $2, we're going to let that go. And you're going to put that on NVIDIA. You see what I'm saying? So that's, that's where the hustle come in. But... All of these three is actually good. I still got GitLab. GitLab is at a real good price, right? Oh, they got a real good price. They're not at, they not at that $3 price, but they're at a good price. So let's look back again. The expectation with these microchips, now understand this is not like a specifically in a video because you're talking about memory storage. So I, didn't, I didn't see that part. That's important. When you're talking about expectations, because now you're talking about what data centers. And APLD, just they didn't crush it, but they're crushing it now because they had like a, a disaster situation. That ain't had nothing to do, what they call it, Black Swan event. Well, it ain't had nothing to do with the stock market, but it was business. So I didn't know this was a data center. So we want to look at that, right? That's not necessarily where we're just making artificial intelligence microchips. We actually making, we make, you need to store that data somewhere. So that's what we're doing. But the whole thing is, it's at $95. And if we go to the graph, let's do, let's do a five year. They went up to 140. But see, you got to look at where they started from, right? Where they start? They started really, we're going to say in the 2000s, which is right here, 2010, they was at $10. 2010, just 15 years ago, 14 years ago, they was at $10. Bitcoin, 2010, Bitcoin was probably $30, $40. Bitcoin at $64,000 right now. In 2010, MU was at $10. So in 15 years, it did went up $85. In 2010, Bitcoin was at probably $50. It's at $64,000 now in 15 years. So again, when the statistics say wealthy, the characteristic, the common characteristic of wealthy people is that they invest in the stock market. And the common characteristic of non-wealthy people is that they don't even have no knowledge of the stock market. And when you tell them to invest in the stock market, they, don't, they ain't heard what you said. Now again, it's seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. So, you know, money might not be your thing. I don't see why not. <laughs> but I don't know, like, right? how, how you think, how you think. Money might, you know, you might not want money. But I don't understand why, why wouldn't you want money when you, everything, you got to pay bills. You got to pay, you pay bills with money. Okay. So, what we want to say with MU, we want to say, instead of speculating and getting sick, we want to be confident. Well, look, MU going to go down because realistically the expectation for, 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 Microchip companies. And what, what's a micro micron technology? Okay, for microchip companies, do we call it a microchip? Now, okay, I'm gonna say this this is going up. Yeah, it's going up, right? Yeah, this is gonna go up. Now I say that in speculation. I don't have no strong confidence. I'm going on really because it's a data, it's a data storage center. Data storage center. 
Now, I haven't proved this. GitLab went up, Box went up, but they didn't keep going up like NVIDIA. Like when God show you something, that's what you, that's what you, that's what you want. And STX went up, but then all them things went down. So, right, so I, I say, I say MU going up because it make, it make, it make the, it make the storage jumps. It's with, it's with AI. It's a part of that AI environment, but they making the, like you got to store the information for the artificial intelligence. So even, even though AI, ain't, they don't see an expectation for that, they're going to see an expectation for this, right? But that's sort of like speculation. So I can't really say yay or nay, but just Fatiha, Sharia, and you going to go up. It's probably going to go up probably like $10. If it go up, you give it a week, it's going to go back up to probably like you catch it like next week, week after next. It's going to be about 140, 130. If you catch it another like two years from now, it's at $90 right now, it might be in the 300s. So, based on the expectation, because it's, it makes memory. Chips, I'm going to say it's going up. Now, we didn't got kind of distracted because it's not what I, what I was assuming. But so we can't, you know, we can't, because again, God say you got to prove your path. You got to prove it. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's, it's, it's what it is. So what, what we want to do at this lecture is that we just want to see. I'm going to make the suggestion that it's going up because it's a data it's a data company where they make data products where you can store your data. Now, if it go up, and they say the expectation of it going up is because it's a data center, then that's another foundation where we can put our faith in that, right? So then we can start building that ladder. So anytime you see any type of company, regardless of what it's going through, regardless of what they're telling you. Look at where it is on the ground, and just know five years. I think they say you're supposed to hold it for at least five years. We ain't even got no knowledge or nothing like that. So this would be a good second foundation. The first foundation is expectation, right? Understanding what they say and when they say expectation. The second foundation is, well, if it's a data company over the next, really, 50 years, because we're talking about artificial intelligence developing. So if you get you three shares now and just go to sleep, or however many shares, it's $90. If you make it $30,000, $40,000 a week, a year, $10,000. Find something you can really, GitLab is at $54 right now. That's not really nothing. Okay. Okay. Now it's a whole lot of ways that we can get busy, right? But a class might might be coming. Okay, it's one o'clock, right? So we, we still got some time, but if, you know, I don't want to again classes people coming in and out, right? What what do we want to do? You know what we want to do? Now I do have I have the Adobe information that we wanted to take a look at. Let's go. Let's. Let's go to uh, let's go to see what this information is. Okay. I want to give a big shout out to Adobe. Uh, like I own the company, but you know, much success to Adobe. Uh, as far as a company. You know, like if we if we was to really blow it up, right? <laughs> to have Adobe, like I would advertise Adobe until they showed me something separate, right? So you know that's real good advertising, right?
Hold on, let's try again. And then look, we gotta read, we got to we got to use Adobe to read the Adobe document. Right? That's real, but that's like that's like uh oh don't start that joint. Okay, so let so we go to uh Okay, now that's something separate. Okay, so let's go back to if we go to Gmail. Let's see again. We might just have to get into brothers and sisters uh the ballistics. Okay. So now they giving us a report. Adobe just had an earnings report. So again, when you become a public corporation on the stock market, it's a private company, it's a public company. I like Chick-fil-A, right? But Chick-fil-A is a private company. Whenever you, wherever you are in American society, everything else is closed. They ain't got no customers. But what about Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A cars around the corner in 2024. Right, so I was like, you know, Chick Fil A make a lot of money on the stock market, right? But Chick Fil A is a private company. You come to find out that if it's, if you are a public company, and I buy some shares into your company, I part own that company, however much I put in, and they call me to a meeting where I get to vote. Some people don't want want people in their business like that. But Adobe is a publicly public company. That means they got to let you know what they doing as far as business. And they come out with something called quarterly quarterly reports. Remember, it's 12 months, a quarter is 0.25 or 0.25, going to 104 times. So it's every three months. Three months going to 12 or four times. And so these are called earnings reports. And these earnings reports or quarterly reports come out every three months. And it's the, it's the earnings reports, like during the three months, the company will go up or to go down, two or three dollars, it might go up ten dollars, somebody might buy a company, that's going to go up a hundred dollars. But it's the earnings reports where the company going to go way up or way down based on a financial situation and based on expectation. I took it down with expectation. So listen, to, now look now, this past earnings report, September the 12th. Adobe went down $50. That's again, well, it's at $560. So that's like kind of, it's not like $100, but $50 is a big drop. But again, Adobe is real high. So you don't want to mess with it. Like I would say, well, it didn't drop $50. So get in, but no, it's, it's still real high. But listen to what it says Adobe reports record. Revenue in the third quarter, fiscal 2024. Let's read that one more time. Adobe reports record. Adobe Incorporated. The ticker symbol is A, the stock symbol is ADBE. Listen to what it say now. A record reports record revenue. So when I first started investing, right, then I first started learning about earnings reports. I was like, how in the hell? I had this one company, look, right? CLFD, they was real good to me too, right? It's another small capital company. Well, I think they only worth, as far as like everything they own, not only, but like it's in the 200 millions. Yo, these people had a 200% revenue increase I had never seen it before in my life. I still, I had to sell them again when it dropped, right? But I had never seen that before in my life. How is you going to make 
200, you didn't flip, you making, you made a certain amount of money last quarter. And this quarter, it did went up 200% and it still dropped <laughs> like five or six dollars. And it was at $20 too. So you're going to have 10 shares. So that's when the expectation come in. Adobe reports, and then look at the language, let's look at the language, right? You see how, you see how the devil work now, let's stay focused. They don't say that it's the truth. They say, look, what is Adobe telling you? And see, this is where the racism come in, right? When you have Caucasian companies where the CEO is Caucasian, all the people that, like the administrator, the media relations, when everybody in that company Caucasian, the language with that company is real nice, it's not belligerent, it's not uh, vi vigilante, it's, you know, it's, it's like real cooperative, invest your money, this company about to blow up. I mean, you know, listen to what they say about Adobe. Now, Adobe run by an Indian now. Adobe reports, right? So on a whole separate level, the, the, the people already let you know, well, you don't really know what they're saying. They ain't saying that this is what it is. They saying this is what they telling you. <laughs> I just, you know, so we stay in focus, right? Record third quarter net new digital such and such and such and such. Surpassing 18 billion and growing 15%. So they grew 15%. See, that's their expectation. So last year, Adobe was, it was up, but then it went down. We had COVID, but then it was down. Then we're coming back off that down, that downside. So it's up 15%. So listen to what the CEO say, right? Adobe's record third quarter performance, listen to what he's telling you now, Indian black man, is a testament to our relentless innovation and commitment to delivering value to our customers, said Shantanu Narajan, chair and CEO of Adobe. With groundbreaking advancements in AI, across Creative Cloud, Document Cloud, and Experience Cloud, we are empowering millions of users worldwide. Okay, so look, there it is, right? That customer. Look at what he's saying now, how he's getting them customers. Look at how he's saying getting the customers. Oh, I, I, I didn't know it was gonna be that good. Listen to how he's saying it, right? They are a software company. He say relentless innovation. Where they just, whenever you go to an Adobe business, they got apartments inside the business. Where if you go work for Adobe, you live inside the company. Like if you go to Bank of America, it'll be the bank, and it'll be like the little cubicle offices, and then it'll be like the ticket, not the ticket, it'll be the counter where you get the money, right? Then it'll be the vault. But you don't see no apartments in there. Well, we just living in there. The bank manager live in uh, the Bank of America. No, you don't see no apartments when you go up in the uh, <laughs> when you go up into the Bank of America to cash your check. You don't see no apartments in there. But he say with he say with relentless, with relentless innovation. That means they got apartments and duplexes. Well, we're just sleeping up in there, creating software programs. So you first got to have relentless innovation and commitment to delivering value to our customers, right? Now, I don't know if he really mean that. Like, you know, I don't mean like he might not. I'm just saying like, you know, public relations. But if we assume that, right? Yes, how you doing? Ahudu.